In just the last few minutes, the nomination of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, who will become the first black woman to serve on the Supreme Court, passed yet another key hurdle. Although not the way it normally happens. Normally, the Judiciary Committee advances the nomination to the full Senate for a confirmation vote. But because no Republican senator on the committee broke ranks, there was a tie, and it was left to the full Senate to accomplish that task. And know that that was deliberate. The 11 Republicans on the Senate Judiciary Committee want you, and especially their base, to know which side of history they are on. If Judge Jackson is confirmed, I believe she will prove to be the most extreme and the furthest left justice ever to serve on the United States Supreme Court. In fact, Judge Jackson remains more of a defense attorney for criminals from the bench than a judge. I have concerns that Judge Jackson will be pinch hitting for one team or the other. I asked her to define the word woman. The fact that she couldn't or wouldn't answer that question speaks volumes. I'll vote no. I'm the first first time I've ever voted against any Supreme Court nominee. But there is some bipartisanship here. Tonight, Senators Lisa Murkowski and Mitt Romney joined Senator Susan Collins in announcing their support for Judge Jackson's nomination. While Judge Jackson's confirmation is assured, today's committee deadlock vote puts Judge Jackson in the same company as Justice Clarence Thomas and Robert Bork as the only nominees in the past 47 years to not be voted out of that committee favorably. Again, that is on purpose. They do not want soon-to-be Justice Jackson on that court as a black woman unscathed. But unlike Thomas and Bork, Judge Jackson is neither an extremist nor accused of sexual harassment nor married to an insurrectionist. And she is overwhelmingly viewed favorably by the American public, which could, should give some Republicans pause, though it clearly does not. As the Daily Beast points out, support for Jackson in a Marquette Law School poll among black adults currently sits at 86 percent. Among Hispanics, it's at 76 percent. And among whites, it is at 59 percent, easily making her the most popular Supreme Court nominee since John Roberts was elevated to chief justice in 2005. 